Hey Simmers, it's Hedoni Sims. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is about owning and operating your own strip club in The Sims 4 with the Wicked Whims mod. So I'm going to go over how to get started with that and if you like what you see, please be sure to like and subscribe. Use of this feature does require having the Get to Work pack in addition to the Wicked Whims mod, so make sure you have those before doing this. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to do is build my strip club or actually place a strip club that I've already built. You can purchase the lot and then build it, but I prefer this way because then you know exactly how much your club is going to cost. So I'm placing a strip club from my library called Mirage Strip Club 2 and then I'm going to have my sim come back and purchase the club. I do want the furnished version since it does have the strip poles and um, and dance spots in place so there is my strip club it is all set and ready to go so when you build the club you do need to have the lot set as generic or else it will not work with the wicked whims mod you can add whatever other lot traits you want i like to have a bouncer but add whatever traits you want to create the vibe you want at your club or keep it interesting and fun um, but it does have to be set as a generic lot type, no matter what. Now that I've got my club set up, I'm gonna have my Sim use his phone to use the strip club icon, buy a strip club, and that's going to go to the manage world screens where I'm able to either build a new strip club or select the lot I just built. So in this case, I'm going to Newcrest because that's where I place my lot and clicking on the lot that I just placed and he is going to purchase the strip club furnished again. Yes, I wanna purchase Mirage Strip Club 2 as a business. So I'm gonna click the check mark. This is gonna make my sim travel to the lot where he's able to manage the strip club. So this is just a warning saying to manage the strip club from your phone and not the business panel because it will not work correctly with the Wicked Whims mod. This is just asking if you wanna transfer funds. I'll say okay, but you can actually transfer at any time. So it's time to go ahead and hire our employees. You're gonna do that from your phone as well. So you're gonna click the same strip club icon and manage employees. This is how you can hire and also a way to fire employees. Now the default for this is normally six, but I have cheated to add 12 employees because I just like having more employees. So you do want your employees to have charisma and bartending because at least one of your dancers is going to need to be assigned the task of bartender. There's no separate bartender in the strip club. Your bartender is actually a dancer. So if you can find employees with bartending skills, that's a good thing. And you can um, also try to find employees with charisma because that's how they cater to clients and get lap dances and stuff. So you're gonna go ahead and select all of your employees here from the Manage Employees tab until you have those slots filled. On the other little tab here with the hammer above, this is how you hire your janitors. So you do want them to have the maintenance skill because they are going to be the ones fixing appliances and we all know how much appliances break in The Sims. They also clean up and they don't have different tasks. They always do the same thing which is repairing and cleaning. Your open hours are also set from your phone. So you're going to go to the strip club and manage open hours. I'm going to keep my club open from 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. So whenever your sims show up during those hours, your club will be open. It will not be open independent of your sim. Your sim does have to be on site for the club to open. Another required piece of the setup is to assign lap dancing spots. This is where your dancers are going to perform their private dances or lap dances. So to do this, you just click on the furniture where you want them to dance and click assign lap dancing spot. And of course, if you change your mind and no longer want them to dance on a spot, you just click the furniture and click an assign lap dancing spot. 
So what I'm doing now is designing outfits for my dancers. So from my strip club menu on my phone, I'm going to click design female outfit. This is going to take me into create a sim where I'm able to design five outfits at a time and then assign them to the dancers. I find this much faster than designing these outfits individually. So I already have my five outfits in place and if you need to assign more outfits, you can just come back and take one of these slots. It's not going to affect your dancer's current outfit unless you assign one so my outfits are in place I'm gonna hit the check mark now that I've designed my five outfits I'm gonna use my strip club menu to assign outfits by clicking assign female outfit and then that's gonna bring up my five outfits I just designed I'm gonna select my outfit I'm going to select my dancer and hit the check mark. And when she shows up to work, she's gonna have the outfit on that we just assigned to her. Bar supplies are an important part of managing your strip club. So you wanna make sure that your bar supplies are high when you start your evening out. When you first open your club, you're gonna have 100. But as customers buy drinks, they will go down so you're going to click strip club and order supplies and try to stay on top of it because they take a day to show up so i usually order 20 because that's typically what my club will go through in a night now you can also set your markup from the bar by clicking strip club and price markup i like 50 percent because it's not too high and not too low. If it's too high, customers complain and don't wanna buy drinks. As I mentioned earlier, you will need to assign the task of bartending to at least one of your dancers. In this club, I actually have two bartenders and every dancer and employee has their own task. So you have your janitor, you have your dancers assigned to charming, which will try to get lap dances, and of course your stage dancers that perform on the poles and the dance spots. So let's say you have too many dancers performing the same task or your bartender walked away and got on stage or something like that and you need another bartender. What you would do is click on the, ch the dancer and you're gonna click strip club and it's gonna bring up the menu and you can change the task there. So you click assign task, the task that they're performing will be grayed out but you can select another task. You can also have a dancer perform a specific pole dance by clicking on the pole and selecting the dancer and then you select the animation that you want them to perform and your dancer will walk up on the stage and perform the dance on that pole. The same applies to the spots, um, the dance spots on the floor. If you click the spot and click spot dance instead of clicking pole dance and then select your dancer and the animation that you want and your dancer will show up on that spot and perform the animation that you've selected. Just like with any other business on The Sims 4, you want to interact with your employees. In this case, you're going to click on your employee and strip club and you can check up on, praise, or fire them. The more you do this, the better employees they are. So you want to check up on them. You also have perks, um, the same as any other business, except these are on your phone. So you do get perks when you interact with employees and clients. So I'm checking up on my employee and the longer they're there, the better the answers get. She's really happy. She's drinking on the job right in front of her boss. Like who would it be? You also want to greet your clients so they don't complain. So when you see a new client or a client that hasn't been in in a while, you click on your client, greet your client, your sim will sit down and have a conversation with them and they're going to spend more money. So as you can see, this is 14 hours of work and um, my sim lives a great, fabulous life from the strip club. I will go over how to make so much money in my next video but this was just for the basics i hope you enjoyed this please like and subscribe